With the Marvel movie machine and full Phase 2 swing, eyes are turning to the upcoming Phase 3. The only properly confirmed project so far, Ant-Man, will arrive with a film co-written and directed by Edgar Wright of Scott Pilgrim and Shaun of the Dead fame. You might need a geek crash course on the size-changing superhero and we're here to deliver. Well, at least I'm here to deliver. No, I'm here too. Michael? Oh, hi. Hi. That was just tiny. I was not hiding in your underwear drawer. Pym is a biochemist who discovers the subatomic Pym particle, which allows things to be shifted in size. He applies the technology to himself, and with a special helmet that allows him to communicate with ants, becomes Ant-Man. Ant-Man is often paired with fellow size-changing hero the Wasp, otherwise known as Janet Van Dyne. Wasp and Ant-Man were married for a time, but sadly Pym's mental instability led him to hit Janet, creating a rift between them and leaving Pym as a bit of a broken character. More recent depictions have presented him as a remorseful scientist trying to use his knowledge for the greater good. Ant-Man is also a founding member of the Avengers in the comics, along with Iron Man, Thor, the Wasp, and the Hulk. In his second Avengers appearance, Pym swapped the shrinking for growing and became Giant Man, a 12-foot tall hero who was a bit more practical in a fight. Pym's mental problems were partially responsible for a variety of other superhero identities, including Yellow Jacket, a cockier brawler type, Goliath, a variant of Giant Man, who's trapped in giant form at one point. And additionally, he takes on the name The Wasp after The Wasp's admittedly temporary death in order to honor her memory. Continuing the theme of Hank Pym as a flawed scientist, he is also responsible for the creation of one of the Avengers' greatest enemies, the deadly robot Ultron. Ultron eventually created his own mechanical allies in the form of the Vision, who possessed the memory engrams of deceased Avenger Wonder Man, as well as a robotic bride with the memory engrams of the Wasp named Yocasta. Both Vision and Yocasta became allies of the Avengers, turning on their evil creator. Along with Hank Pym, it's rumored that the second Ant-Man, Scott Lang, will also appear in the film. Lang is a thief who stole the Ant-Man suit in order to save his daughter from a heart condition. When Lang offered to return the costume to Pym, he's instead told to keep it and become the second Ant-Man on the condition that he uses his powers for good. Lang agrees and over the course of his superhero career has been an Avenger, a member of a replacement Fantastic Four, and has even died and come back. Eric O'Grady has also taken on the role of Ant-Man, though he was far less of a heroic character, instead using the Ant-Man powers for selfish reasons like picking up women and humiliating people because ants are sexy. O'Grady eventually got it together and joined the Secret Avengers. On a mission with the Covert team, O'Grady was killed and replaced by an advanced robotic duplicate who later became the villainous Black Ant. For a supposedly lower tier character, the various Ant-Men have had a laundry list of excellent creators behind them, including Stan Lee, Jack Kirby, John Byrne, and Robert Kirkman. If you're into crazy Silver Age science fiction, the classic run of Ant-Man stories in Tales to Astonish, featuring work by Stan Lee, Jack Kirby, Don Heck, and more of the classic Marvel bullpen, is definitely for you. As far as excellent adaptations of the character, the recently ended Avengers Earth's Mightiest Heroes cartoon presented a cool version of Pym, including his Ant-Man, Giant-Man, and Yellow Jacket identities. Ant-Man was the leader of the Avengers in the 1999-2000 Avengers United They Stand cartoon series as Captain America, Iron Man, and Thor were being reserved for other projects. Pym led the Avengers team and provided them with special armors that enhanced their abilities. Who's your favorite Ant-Man? Let us know in the comments below, and remember to subscribe for more Geek Crash Course. Until next week, if you have any questions, you can find us on Twitter, Facebook, and our website, geekcrashcourse.com. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next week on, on Geek, Geek Crash, Crash Course. Course. It's yo because it's Greek. I did both Joe and yo. I know. So you have options. Suck it! <laughs>